Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to channel. Indeed, it's good to be back. As uh, some of you may have noticed, or probably more likely haven't noticed, I've been a bit absent lately, as I've been kind of working on some other stuff and wasn't really planning on uploading for a while. But the Creation Club decided to get a bit busy just before Christmas, so I thought I'd pop in a few videos looking at some of this new Creation Club content. Uh, now, rather than going down the generic mod review, we'll be looking at these in detail, and we're going to start with the Elite Crossbows, and as usual, I'll give my thoughts at the end. So let's crack on. Now, this mod simply puts two new crossbows into the game, one Elven and one Ebony, for the princely sum of 400 credits, or $4, or around £3.50 in real money. Now this is excellent for those of you that haven't or don't want to do the Dawnguard storyline, though there is a catch which I'll go into in more detail later on. Okay, I won't do any uh, spoilers in this video, but to get your little mitts on these beauties, we have to go on a little lesser hunt which is seemingly becoming a standard in Creation Club, and this will ultimately lead you to an underground hideout of a former vampire hunter where you'll find the crossbows and certainly a few more items uh, worth grabbing. Yeah, before we get into stats, I've got to say, even though I'm not a big crossbow user myself, the quality and textures of these these mods, of this mod, sorry, is very, very good. Um, especially, I think, the uh, ebony crossbow. I think the detailing is absolutely superb. Anyway, let's get down to nitty gritty and take a look at the base damage with no perks, enchantments or smithing. The Elven Crossbow does 26 points of damage, uh, which is pretty damn decent. The Ebony Crossbow does 28 points of damage. Now to put this into context, the most powerful crossbow in the vanilla game, which is the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow, does 23 points of damage. So these are quite a bit more powerful. Now the figures uh, in the stat box on the screen is taking into account my archery perks which is only 3 out of the 5 overdraw but no fortify archer enchantments on any gear. Now this alone makes it a decent weapon in its own right but the thing that this mod does is to allow you to smith an, an enhanced crossbow. Now this little beauty not only does higher damage but ignores 50% of armour which makes it significantly better and far more useful. Yeah, so I think we can all agree the enhanced bows are crossbows one we all want, so let's uh, upgrade and enchant the crap out of it and uh, see what we get. Okay, that's not bad. And the enchantments I'd always recommend on any of your uh, top gear is, if you've got it, the chaos enchantments and a uh, another enchantment of whatever you wish. I mean, I usually go for fire, uh, fire damage. And if you see my video on making the ultimate armor and uh, weapons, uh, it goes into great detail. Well, that's a really good combination. Okay, black soul gem on these little beauties, and let's go and let's take a look at what we got. And uh, with the enhanced Elven Crossbow, we're looking at 598, nigh on 600 damage. Now, ignore the fact that uh, it's not mentioning the enchantment there. It's because it's already pre-written with a Taxus Crossbow, ignore 50% of armor. Um, but there you go. That is 598 damage with the Elven Crossbow. And bear in mind, I have only three uh, perks into archery, so uh, and no Fortify archery gear on. That is pretty damn awesome. So let's look, take a look at the Ebony Bow. And again, it's pretty damn awesome at 606, which is obviously only 8 over the uh, Elven. But bearing in mind, when you bring in the multipliers of uh, archery perks and fortified gear, um, then the difference can be quite significant. But anyway, 606 is pretty damn awesome. So let's take a look at the issues with this mod and the perks I'd recommend to get the most out of these weapons. And we'll start with the issues. Uh, firstly, the weight of the Ebony Crossbow is 24 over the Elven 22, and that's not significant in itself. Uh, however, if you have gone down the Light Armour route, the Enhanced Ebony Bow won't be available to you, and obviously vice versa. Of course, if you have some spare perks and have hit 100 in smithing, you can make your Ebony uh, or Elven Crossbow 
then go le legendary and recoup those perks. A, a messy way to do it, but viable. I've done it several times. I would always suggest making the best fortify smithing gear you can as that will re-speed up your smithing levelling later on. The real issue could be bolts. Now you get a decent selection when you first find the mod but nowhere near enough to sustain it as a primary weapon. But it's worth noting I have checked to see if there are uh, any found in random locations as loot and I've checked several vendors and waited for their stock to respawn many times and none have appeared for sale or as loot so far so this narrows your choices to joining the dawn guard and completing the new order quest uh, make sure you have a still smithing perk and talk to serene yurad she should train you in constructing a basic crossbow but more importantly the steel bolts if you complete uh, an ancient technology quest for Serene, your reward will be plans for either an improved crossbow or exploding bolts. Well, we don't care about the crossbow, but the bolts will be quite handy. Uh, you have the option to keep repeating the ancient technology quests for Serene until you have all the plans for each type of bolt. But do note, you'll need the Dwarven Smithing uh, to make them. Uh, another option for you is pick up all the Dwarven Bolts in Dwemer Ruins and you can accumulate quite a few on your travels. Now for those of you that have the Rare Curious uh, mod from Creation Club, you can craft the following. Bone Mold Bolts and damage of 15 can be forged using Bone, bone Mill and a Steel Smithing Perk. Cork Bulb uh, Bolts, damage of 10 can be forged using Cork Bulb Root. Um, purchase from Khajiit Caravans but personally I'd say the cook bulb for alchemy if I was you. Um, iron bolts you can be forged at any level no need of any perks. Orcish bolts damage of 12 can be forged using the Orcish smithing perk. Silver bolts damage of 10 can be forged at any level without the need of any perks. And I'm always interested to see if they've actually got extra damage against the undead. Now talking of perks everything that affects uh, bows affects crossbows as well. Even Deadly Aim. Those perks aren't immediately obvious, work like this. Hunter's, Hunter's Discipline are more bolts from NPCs who drop bolts in the first place. Ranger, you move faster while aiming and reloading. Quick Shot is faster reload. Now the mechanics of the weapons can be a bit confusing. A bow works as in ready, draw, aim, shoot, ready. A crossbow works as ready, aim, shoot, reload, ready. Now, the perks I strongly recommend will be Eagle Eye, level 30, pressing block while aiming will zoom in your view. Quick shot at level 70 yields a faster draw for bows and faster reload for crossbows. With that in mind, uh, power shot at level 50 is important. Now, if you've gone for the quick shot perk, you'll already have this perk. But if you don't want or have it or don't have enough points or high enough level for quick draw, get this one anyway, as it staggers an enemy and can buy you more time. The next perk is particularly good for assassins, and it's a steady hand perk at level uh, 40 and 60. Uh, zooming in with a, um, a bow or crossbow slows time by 25% and 50% respectively. If you often use uh, bows or crossbows in a melee, then the ranger perk allows you to move faster while aiming with your bow or crossbow, which could be important in a tight battle. Okay, let's take uh, this little beauty out for a test run. I'm using the ebony crossbow and I'll give my thoughts on it um, along the way. Uh, we're going to hit white run and just murder all the guards as we always do. <laughs> or BB White Run is my favourite city. Anyway, my thoughts on this mod, it's, it's very decent. Now, is it worth $4? Well, that's entirely up to you. I mean, hopefully I've given you enough information for you to make up your own mind. Um, but if you've got the spare uh, cash and uh, all the spare Creation Club points or credits or whatever they call them, um, yeah, why not? I think these are pretty decent weapons. And in particular, I think they're very decent for dragon killing and as an assassin weapon. But I do think to get the most out of them, you're going to need those perks that I mentioned before. So uh, bear that in mind. Anyway, so let's go slaughtering. And here we found him. And good night. <laughs> He's got to be done. 
So we're just wandering around White Hunt, White Run, and it caused a bit of mayhem. Missed. Yeah, you see, you do need the uh, the quick draw perk, and we might as well do the victory dance on the seam as per usual. Would I buy this mod? Do you know what? I think I would. I think they're pretty decent weapons, and they would fit particularly into Tyren's um, new kind of assassin. Um, build that she's got so I think that they're, they're well made the textures on them are extremely good and I, th I personally think are worth wor I think they're worth it but hopefully I've given enough information to you guys to make up your own mind and uh, I'll just leave you with the carnage in white run Come to see you later I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe obviously. Later.